I ain't been getting high Well, maybe a little, baby, I don't wanna lie I know when you text me, girl, I don't always reply Well, you're not... Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Speakwell, and in today's video, we are back with another free throw competition. Yes, that's right, a free throw competition. Not a three-point competition, but from the free throw line, we're going to be finding out who is the worst and who is the best free throw shooters inside of NBA 2K18. Last time, we had Shaq face off against Wilt Chamberlain, so if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out, but in this video, we got Shaq facing off against Dwight Howard. These two guys are terrible, terrible free throw shooters. Uh, we got Shaq on the 03 Lakers, and then we got the current Dwight Howard, because I believe that is the worst at shooting free throws in the game. Anyways, how we're going to be doing this, we're going to be putting the difficulty on Hall of Fame and doing real player percentage for the actual free throw shooting. And it has to be, yeah, Hall of Fame, real player percentage, free throw. We're going to foul, get these guys to the line in the game. And then from there, we will actually be able to play this thing. Um, so hopefully I do have fouls off because it's not going to be good. Okay, so starting off here, we got Dwight Howard going to the line for his first free throws here. We are going to be doing a total of 20 free throws. My release does not affect it at all, but Dwight Howard actually gets that in on his first try. Uh, so we're going to be going to the line 10 times. So we have Shaq now, and they go to the line a total of 10 times. So 20 attempts in total. See what Shaq is going to do here. For some reason, sometimes it gives us those release. Shaq misses his first shot and his second shot. So Shaq not starting off too good here. And we got to see if we actually have fouls on. I might have forgot to turn them off, which is going to suck if we do. Let's find out right here, though. Kobe's on his second to last foul. Let's see what Dwight is going to do. He misses his first free throw. He is two for four, or okay, three for four. Dwight Howard shooting really, really, really good here. Kind of surprised by that. Uh, let's foul Shaq with somebody. There we go. And now we got Shaq going to the line again. He has yet to hit a shot out of a total. He, he shot two so far. There's three down. Can he hit a shot? And Shaq finally does actually hit a shot. Took him long enough. One for four. This is going to be the third time going to the line, though, out of a total of ten. Let's see if we can foul. There we go. Okay, so I do actually have fouls on. So we can't foul anybody with Shaq or with Dwight Howard. Or else that's going to ruin the whole thing. Dwight Howard missing another shot. And that is six shots down the drain. We got a foul. Uh, Shaq with somebody here. Let's go with Batum again. He's about to foul out as well. But Shaq only one for four to start this thing off. Let's see if he can improve a bit here. This is another shot. One for six. Okay, two for six for Shaq. Not a good start. He definitely did better in our last video. But that's all right. Maybe he could turn up a bit here. Let's keep on. No, 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 no. We got to foul him. Foul him. Foul him. There we go. Finally trying the foul there. So Dwight Howard, three for six here. Not doing too bad at all to start this thing off. Three for seven. Shaq starting to catch up a bit here, though. He misses both of those shots. Shaq might be able to do something here. Okay, let's keep, let's keep fouling. Let's go from behind. There we go. That's an easy way to foul. Just foul them from behind. Shaq up here for his 7th and 8th free throws. He gets his first one to go. He gets that. Sinks it. And his second one is good as well. So Shaq taking a lead now. Dwight Howard coming off with a strong lead. And Shaq coming back here. Uh, let's see if we can foul here. Come from behind. There we go. You could not steal the ball in this game, which is crazy. We get the foul every single time. Dwight Howard finally hitting another free throw. And I believe that brings us to the halfway mark for Dwight Howard. Let's just check it out real quick. 
Uh, yeah, Dwight Howard has shot 10 free throws so far. So we're here halfway through Dwight Howard's free throws. And now we just got to finish it up with Shaq. So back to the line with Shaq. Let's see what he can do here. He misses his first free throw. It's all tied up right now. And he's not able to take the lead. So it's all tied up with the first 10 free throws down. Both 4 for 10, which is pretty, pretty terrible. Um, these guys are shooting really bad. 40% to start off. And Dwight Howard doing even worse. He misses those two free throws. He is 4 for 12. Dwight Howard is doing absolutely terrible. Let's see if Shaq can do something here. Maybe improve a bit. Can he hit a free throw here? First shot is good to go. So Shaq, 5 for 11 and 5 for 12. Uh, I am using the wrong controller to move these guys. All right, back to the line with Dwight Howard. He is 4 for 12. Let's see what he is going to do here. Misses some more free throws. And there we go. Finally hits another one. 5 for 14. Tied it back up with Shaq, but Shaq is two shots behind. Foul on Shaq again. Can he take the lead here? This is the 13th and the 14th shots. He misses his first shot, and the second shot is good to go. Shaq with another lead. One point above Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard has to do something big here. Because Shaq's been hitting consistently like one free throw per attempt. This is for attempts 15 is no good. Can he hit attempt number 16? And he's not able to do it. Dwight Howard cannot hit that shot. So we got Shaq back out here for his 15th and 16th shot. Can we foul him? foul there we go finally i don't know how any of those weren't fouls 15 and 16 for shaq here he hits his first shot shaq actually shooting a really really good percentage right now not really good but he, he's doing a lot better but we are getting close to the end of this this is going to be a free throw attempt so free throw attempt 17 and 18 coming up here let's see what dwight howard can do he hits his first one so he's still one point behind Shaq though. And he's not able to hit the other shot. He needs Shaq to miss at least a one shot here for a chance for him to still be in this. Because he has two more attempts. Come on. There we go. Let's get the fouls in. We only have 56 seconds left. All right. Shaq. Attempt 17 is no good. And attempt number 18 is good to go let's get this ball to dwight and there we go okay and we're just gonna foul whoever is near him there we go dwight howard with his final two shots here he needs both of them for a chance at winning but he misses his first shot and the second shot is good to go so dwight howard not able to actually win this competition because Shaq already has a lead and he has two more shots left in this. So let's see what Shaq can finish off with here. First shot. He misses it. And now the second shot. Can he get nine for 20? And Shaq gets it to go. So let's check out these final scores here. Obviously Shaq winning the competition. Shaq shooting 45%, which is actually pretty decent for him. I think it's a bit lower than his actual player percentage in the game. So 45% for Shaq is not too bad. 9 for 20 and Dwight Howard only shooting 7 for 20, 35%. These are both terrible free throw percentages. I mean, if you're not if you're shooting under 50%, there's nobody guarding you. It's a, it's a free throw, free shot and you can't get them to go. It's pretty bad, guys. Leave your comment down below if you want to see more of this and who you want to see face off next. Anyways, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, uh, turn on post notifications, and of course, this has been your boy Smeekwool, and I will see you next time. Peace. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account, yeah. In my bank account, yeah. In my bank account, yeah. In my bank account.